I went back to the media channel after a bit to try and find out if I could uncover any new information, which, surprisingly, I did. One of the guest me's was already there, guest F, which, in my previous update, I talked about quite a lot. She decided to talk to me for a brief moment, saying the following. Hey, can I talk with you for a moment, Damien? I didn't want to scare you or anything that's not my goal. I've been so lonely and so have the others. We died in 1996, around November. We used to be big fans of Nintendo. We died in a fire. But we don't know how it happened. We were all at Brian's house when it happened. Brian's house? Wait. You mean like, wait a minute, this might sound crazy, but does that mean guest B? Does that mean his real name is Brian? Yeah, his real name is Brian and mine is Freya. More specifically, it's Freya Golding. I never knew that at all, but it's a welcome fact. What about all the other guests? Surely they have something to say as well. Well, they are unsure of what to say at the moment. Maybe they'll talk to you soon anyway. Do you have any more questions? I'd be happy to answer them. Um, well, and then before I could answer, I was interrupted. Why bother with questions? It's not like he can help us or anything. Emma? Emma? I whisper silently. Yes, it's me, Freya. But look, let's just leave Damien alone. We're only bothering him. Emma, he needs to know. We owe it to him. Freya's right, Emma. We do owe him an explanation. I then realized that the other two me's that were just talking a moment ago were guest E and guest C. I then simply replied with, It's okay, I don't have any more questions anyway. Just then, two of the other guests walked into the meat plaza. Guest A and Guest D. Guest A said, What were you guys talking about? We were just talking about any questions Damien might have. Hmm, seems interesting. But we can't really blame Damien for being curious. Exactly. I then curiously asked Freya. Um, Freya, do they have a name? Okay, well that's Alan and Diana. Um, nice to meet you, Alan and uh, Diana, I said. Nice to meet you, Damien. Yeah, nice to meet you as well, Damien. Guest B, also known as Brian, then showed up as well. Hey there, Damien. Looks like you've already made some friends, I suppose. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, I'm sorry to be the last one to talk to you and everything, but um, I was just a bit busy. Playing Wii Sports, I presume? He chuckles at that, saying that I know him all too well. The day actually goes on as normal, for the most part. I just chat to them, and they tell me some interesting facts or things that I probably didn't know. But all around it was a pretty good day, and nothing really weird happened. Or at least, not until a certain point. I eventually went back to the Wii, and I noticed that in the Wii home screen, there was a message that was waiting for me on the dashboard system. I went over and looked at the email, or Wii mail, and saw something pretty interesting, but also pretty weird. The letter said the following, the Wii detection software has noted that there are some irregularities and will perform a complete system reboot. I tried to click the cancel button multiple times and it didn't work at all, not once. So I then decided to pull the plug to see if that would work. 
to my surprise, it did. I rebooted the Wii, and I checked the message board again. This time, there was an actual message waiting for me. It said, Trying to play the hero won't work. Although I respect your insistence on keeping your so-called friends around, believe me when I say this. I'll get what I want. Signed, R. The creepiest thing about that letter wasn't really the words, it was more so the last letter, R. Why would anyone do that? And also, what did that mean? I went to the me channel to talk about my findings to the others. None of them however knew who this R was, it was completely random. A day passed as I did my own thing, basically, doing whatever that was, such as college work or something like that, when I realized that there was something interesting. I looked at the message again, the last letter, R. I actually had the bright idea to google a bunch of names, and for some reason, really just out of random curiosity, I basically googled a list of employees that perhaps worked at Nintendo with that letter. Nothing popped up though. I mean, sure, there was a couple people, but they all seemed like normal people. I looked towards the Wii again, only to see a new message. Some things are better left hidden. At this point, more than anything, I was just annoyed. I couldn't get to the bottom of this at all, and I hit a dead end. But I was then pleasantly surprised by a friend. It actually made me jump at first, not expecting his voice. Hey Damien, are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I said, trying to compose myself. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Have you found anything out about that message? Unfortunately, no. I've been trying to find anything out, but I didn't even get a single answer. Aw, oh, okay. Well, maybe you should give it a break and do something fun. Don't worry about us, okay? Guess D then also said, Yeah, we'll be fine. But if you want to talk, you're welcome to at any time. I simply said thank you, and then decided to give it a rest. As far as updates go, this whole thing has been one a heck of a wild ride. But I can already tell, it's nowhere near over. <laughs>